right for all the financial statements prepared there are three fundamental accounting assumptions that the entities follow i may use the word company but my intention is entity so just to make it easy for you i'm using that word company right so say there is a company and in that company these three are the fundamental accounting assumptions what do i mean by fundamental accounting assumptions say you are a student what is the fundamental assumption that you know a teacher can make oh you are sincere about your uh, preparation you are serious about doing your exams well and you want to do well in your life you want to make your parents feel proud now these are implied so it's assumed that these things a student would want to do unless you prove to me convincingly that you are not actually in line with this right so we assume that you know somebody who is taking the session wants to do the exams well because we also put in a lot of effort to ensure that you do your exams well so friends when i talk about a fundamental assumption it's like it's implied it's not just unique only to you all your friends who are preparing for this exam must be in similar thought similarly you went for a movie why do you buy a ticket and go for a movie obviously you want to watch the movie you want to enjoy the movie you go for the movie nobody goes to the movie to say oh i want to come back unhappy from the movie ah, that's why i went to the movie who who goes like that right so the fundamental assumption when you say you are you are a student there is an assumption what we made when you are when you said you went to a movie there is an assumption what we made similarly when i talk about fundamental accounting assumption what is that fundamental accounting assumption so we have three of those the first one is going concern second one is consistency third one is accrual before i take a deep dive into these three concepts what they generally mean is if you have prepared financial statements we assume that these three are taken care unless unless you tell clearly that these three are not followed i am repeating if you have prepared financial statements we assume we assume we take it for granted bhai ye to aap you have done you have done this so you are taking it for granted unless unless you prove that you have not done it for example if you prepare financial statements there is something called going concern assumption what is going concern assumption nobody prepares financial statements with a general assumption that company is going to close in the next 6 months or company is going to close down in the next one week no the, the assumption when i see financial statements say we are looking at the financial statements of infosys uh, we see okay oh profit oh so it's like almost 5000 crores profit acha turnover almost 3000 crores turnover we saw all these things by looking at this we don't automatically assume that this company will close down in the next 6 months right so financial statements are prepared with an assumption that the entity continues into foreseeable future the entity continues into foreseeable future what is the meaning of foreseeable future now say you are standing here this is say future now you are looking at future acha in future as far as first you can see is there any compulsion on the part of company to close down or intention to close down so what do i mean by a uh, foreseeable future the company first management you are just visualizing hey in the future do we have any compulsion to close down the business no great do we have a voluntary intention to close down business no fine all right now there is no compulsion or intention to close down business now when i say future how far as far as you can see that's what ideally you should look at as far as you can see but you can see things which are closer to you more accurately than the ones which are like very far right unless somebody has uh, an eye defect the thing, objects which are far may not be that visible but the objects which are closer must be visible the same way the accounting standard says when we say foreseeable future ideally as far as you can see but the next 12 months you should be able to see more carefully the next 12 months you should be able to see more carefully come on come to the next 12 months acha in the next 12 months more carefully can we say whether we have an intention or compulsion to close down the general assumption is you may not have an intention or compulsion to close down in the next 12 months time if this assumption is not met 
if this assumption is not met, what does it mean? So something like, nay bhai, so we have to close down the business in the next six months. Now, nobody will assume that unless you tell them that. Okay? So, in such cases, when fundamental accounting assumptions are violated, you will have to give a note in the financial statement saying, because of, say, legal case, the company is expected to shut down in the next six months. So, if there is a problem because of which the entity is going to be closed in the foreseeable future, that has to be explicitly written in the notes to accounts. Otherwise, what do we assume? We assume that entities continue their business into foreseeable future. So, friends, going concern is a very important assumption. Now, to understand the degree of importance of going concern, we should go to the other side. What will happen to the financial statements if going concern assumption is violated? When today we talk about depreciation, what is depreciation? Asset may have like 10 years life and uh, we purchased the asset now, entire money went out now, but because the asset has a 10 years life, we will write off the asset over 10 years. That's the kind of thing what you do in depreciation, right? But imagine, asset may have a life of 10 years, but the company doesn't have a life of 10 years. What will happen in such cases? So even though the asset has a life of 10 years, you're saying, oh no, I think in the next six months, the company is going to close down. Then you may say, oh, we cannot really say we will write off this depreciation over 10 years time. We have to see in, six months time, what is the realizable value of the asset? Normally, maybe you wouldn't have done that. But now you are being forced to do that. Why are you forced to do that? Because there is a compulsion regarding some business being closed on in six months time. So friends, instead of providing depreciation, you might write off maybe maximum portion of asset because the asset realizable value maybe is much lower and you are writing off the asset. Now, this is not something that you normally do. But you might do it when this going concern assumption is violated. Similarly, you make something called as provision for bad and doubtful debts. You are assuming, oh, over next one year, two years, we may receive money from our debtors and maybe we may not receive certain amount of money from debtors over that period and you are trying to make some provision and so on. Similarly, when you talk about provision for warranties, oh, we gave two years warranty and in that two years warranty, today we already made a sale and we have to make a provision for warranty. We make a provision for gratuity and so on. A lot of these provisions are to be settled in future. These provisions have to be settled in future. They might have to be paid in the future, but you are providing them for today itself. So, you are making that provision today because you are assuming that business will continue. If we assume that business will close down, maybe we may not make a provision for gratuity the way we normally make. So friends, the point what I am trying to communicate to you is financial statements just as a logical, uh, just as an, uh, as an example relate to this. There is a building, excellent building, alright. Now, there is another picture where that building has cracks that building may collapse. That building has cracks and that building may collapse. If you try to say that the building is strong, you assume that the building will continue into a long uh, into a future. If you say the building is very weak, building has a lot of cracks, the building may collapse. Now, the way the ones who look at this picture of building which is likely to collapse, that kind of feeling what people get is very different from the kind of feeling what people get when they look at a strong superstructure, right? So friends, that's exactly what I mean by going concern. If going concern assumption is kept up, if going concern assumption is kept up means there is no problem, entity will continue into foreseeable future. It's like the business is strong, the building is strong, no problem. If going concern assumption is violated, it is like building is weak, it may collapse anytime, be careful. Now, when you are communicating this to the user, are both same? Not at all, right? So, the accounting standard says, we assume that, we assume that this is the general norm. What is this? We are talking about building being strong. So, we assume that building is strong unless you tell us that this building is weak. We assume that the company will continue into foreseeable future unless you tell us that company may not continue into foreseeable future. So that is about going concern assumption.